You want to have lunch here today? I realise it's short notice, but when you hear what we're celebrating... Oh, we already know, Rick told us. You already know? Yeah. You and Alf, eh? Who'd have thought it? Yeah, we, um, we tried to phone him to congratulate him, but he wasn't picking up his phone. Oh, that's because he's busy finding me a ring. We, see, we didn't even know this was a possibility. Oh, no, neither did I. It came out of the blue. Isn't it marvellous to think it took an earthquake to bring Alf and me together? Love, I'm going to be honest with you. I would have thought it would take a lot more than an earthquake. Uh, so is the lunch a possibility? Uh, just the family, a few close friends? Uh, yeah, consider it done. We'll have to figure something out, but... Yeah. Ah, well, we'll be able to answer any other little questions you might have then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's only right that Alf and I explain things together. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yesterday, why'd you walk out of class? I wasn't going to hang around and listen to Tony Pock's written confession. But you have to admit, it took guts to stand up in front of the class. She said you'll be positive, all right? Who cares? Don't you feel a little bit sorry for her? Nope. That's what you get for being a slag. Aidan. What? It's all right to admit you're scared. I'm not. When are you getting your test results back? Oh, if you must know. The doctor's rushing them through today. There's no way I'm positive anyway, so... Maybe you should talk to Cass. Look, I haven't got it, okay? Aiden, look, I understand that this must be really hard. Get out of my face. Okay, if you want to feel sorry for someone, then how about you go hassle Cassie? Because she's the one who's going to be dead soon. Well, what's wrong? Hmm? Can't handle the truth? Well, that's how it is. She's got the plague and she deserves it. You know what? I hope you do have it so you know what it feels like. It's what you deserve. What did I tell you? My fan is running off. Well, I just bumped into Madge Wilkins. And of course she knew all the details already. Um, excuse me. Is that what I think it is? Uh, yeah. Y you don't mind if I give it to Colleen, do you? You've come a long way from wanting to take off in your van. No, 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 I'm still doing that. I just think that in the meantime it wouldn't hurt for us to make a bit of an effort, that's all. Well, maybe I could mention the dangers of giving an inch. Oh, come on, Morag. It's important to Colleen to be one of us. It's not going to kill you to, to humour her a bit for a while, is it? Yes. And for the record, this is your idea, not... Mm. Hello. G'day. What is that for me? Oh, here. Yeah. Here, yeah, there you go, love. <laughs> oh, of course, it's too big. I'll have to have it resized. Yeah, it's almost official. Really? I hope you don't mind, but I've asked Irene and Leah if we can have a little celebration lunch at the Pier Diner. So we can tell everyone the whole story? Yeah, yeah, sure, love, that shouldn't hurt. It's my treat. Hey, shouldn't you be getting to work soon, girlie? You miss Colleen and Alf's engagement party? No way. Alf and Colleen, fed income, it beggars belief. I shouldn't have said anything, but he was just being so cruel. Oh, typical Jeffries. I'm glad Cass wasn't there to see it. So this is where the party is. Mm. Can you believe this is happening? <laughs> Love, can you tell us what has possessed your grandfather? <laughs> well, look, all he said was that neither of them are getting any younger. But how long have they been seeing each other? I mean, you live in the same house. Surely if something was happening, you must have... Oh, late night booty call. Oh, 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 no, that's wrong. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Good You know what? I don't care. I'm going with it. Granddad, Colleen, I wish you all the best. Happy engagement. Engagement? What are you talking about? We're not getting married, you dill. She's my sister. <gasps> oh, um... <gasps> wow! <gasps> Congratulations! What? Oh! How could you possibly think I'd marry the woman? Well, Colleen said she was going to be part of the family. And then she, she said she was getting her a ring. 
Where's Dad's signet ring? <laughs> but what about when you were on the beach and you were getting cosy together? Oh, cosy, my foot. It was just a bit of a cuddle. <laughs> I've always wanted a sister. Now I've got two. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you and Celia could become pen pals. You know, I'm very excited for you, Colleen. Oh, oh, look, I'm more than excited. I finally have a point. Yeah, a sense of belonging, I understand that. No, no, Stuart's point. It's my point. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> well, there you go, Maureen. It's not that bad, eh? <laughs> well, look, how about a family photo? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Stuart's of the world unite. Where's me brother and sister? <laughs> well, I reckon it's only a photo. Oh, enter the dragon. Come on, smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thinking about Aiden. Despite what I said to him, I really don't wish anything bad on him. All right, here we go. Uh, Jeffries, Aiden. Ah, it's good news. You're HIV negative. Relax. There's nothing to be afraid of now. You're you're young. You're healthy. Life's good. Face. I get the tingles in a silly place It starts in my toes and I crinkle my nose Wherever it goes, I always know That you make me smile, please stay for a while now Just take your time wherever you go Next week, television history will be made But if you think Sally leaving is big Wait till you see what washes up the morning after